All right, so we see different, quote, weeds or forms growing here, right? Okay, what is this? Don't know what that is? What's that plant? Okay, dog fell. All right, dog fell. Now, it looks very different than it looks earlier, right? Same plant, immature, right? Okay, using all your senses. And remember, I said aroma matters. Aroma matters, okay? When you take forbs, any of these forbs, okay? And just like we did to prepare for our bricks test, scrunch them up in your palms like this, and then smell. You said it smells like peppermint. So it's actually got a pleasant smell, right? <laughs> All right. Now, you can do the same thing with your grasses, okay? And smell them. Now, grasses and clovers, legumes, things like that will have sort of a mild, sugary aroma. Sweet, okay? Grasses and clovers will have a mild, sugary, or sweet aroma to them. And this actually gives you, once you really tune your nose in, this will match up with what your refractometer is telling you, okay? So the more aromatic it is, the higher the bricks. Just like the peaches and tomatoes in the store. The more aromatic they are, the higher the bricks, okay? So aroma and nutrient density, mineral content, is linked hand in hand. So I can smell the aroma of my forages out here. Now, most of your forbs are going to be much more aromatic. They're going to have a much stronger aroma to them, okay? They're going to be more herbal in that aroma, okay? Now, why? Anybody know? I, I gave you a strong clue this morning in my talk. Why would these have a much stronger aroma to them versus grasses and legumes? Well, but specifically what? Secondary and tertiary. Okay, there you go. The secondary and tertiary ones, okay? All right. That are medicinal in nature. What you are smelling in that much stronger aroma is medicine, okay? Medicinal compounds. And again, it's very pleasant, but much, much stronger. Now, I'll tell you a, a, a funny story here about this, okay? Remember I told you we sell to a lot of chefs, right? So we have chefs come out and do farm tours on our farms all the time, and we do this what we're doing with you today, we do this exact same thing with our ships so that they can understand why they need to buy from us. That's important, telling your story and building that foundation so they can tell the story to their patrons, right? But I had some chefs, now chefs really get into this because chefs love aroma and taste and all of that's their job, right? So we had some chefs out there and they'll graze, they'll go to our pastures and graze. They won't just smell, they'll put it in their mouth and eat, right? Now, so they were plucking, they found some dog fennel and they were plucking this and smelling it. Oh, wow, that smells great. And then eating it. So they put this in their mouth and started chewing on it. And they went, oh my God, that is fantastic. And they said, this will be wonderful for flavoring meats in our restaurants. And they said, what is that? So instead of saying dog fennel, I didn't want to give them a name that might be off-putting. I just said, well, this is fennel. You know? <laughs> wow. They said, can we buy that? 
And I said, yeah, $20 a pound. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So, folks, you have no clue what you can sell from your farm, okay? See, you're really getting good when you can sell weeds, right? To chefs. Our, our livestock now will eat it at any stage until it gets just totally mature in, in brown, okay? But as long as there's still green in it, they will eat it. And thistle, what they'll do is our cows especially, they'll grab the whole thistle plant sideways, they'll take their tongue, they'll turn their head like this, take that tongue, wrap it around the plant, yank the whole plant up, okay? And you'll see the thistle plant hanging out of their mouth like this, and they'll just keep taking that tongue and pulling it into their mouth and chewing it all up. Pay attention to all of these different types of things. You know, we, we got some nettle here, right? And all of that. Well, you know, they'll, our livestock will eat that, okay? So there's nothing out here that they won't eat once you teach them to eat that. And